Greetings, salutations, hello, how are you? Um, it's me, we all know, it's just me. Um, if in you're looking for lights, camera, and action today, you won't be receiving those, um, because, honey, Mercury is throwing it back, and everything is incorrect, everything is wrong, so, um, oop. Let me return this immediately. I bought this little um, seven port USB thing so I could plug in my lights and have my, you remember the lights if you've seen, you know, any of the videos. Girl, the USB port is janky, so I've got to give her back to Amazon. Um, I'm not even going to go into the debacle in full, but I ordered an Apple Watch. They sent me this an empty box an empty box so I'm waiting on that replacement they're jerking me around about that like girl I've had it but anyway um yeah let's talk about the heifers this is the encore uh season one episode two I'm saying season one knowing that it is probably a limited series but I would be remiss if I didn't tell BET to go ahead and make this a, a return bring it back honey and do the rappers next time the girls and then do the male singers and then yeah i mean they're then do you know a a, a co co um uh, a co-ed <laughs> situation honey there are many ways we could freak this um but anyway the show starts off honey with cedar cedar's here again telling the girls we need a queen so they have to vote for a queen it it's a tough vote. It's tough. Ooh, it's so tough. It, it For a moment, it's looking like it might be Aubrey. It's looking like it might be Keely. But then it turns out to be Pam. So, um, oh, I forgot. That. If y'all watched my episode one, I introduced everybody. But we have uh, Fallon and Felicia of Cherish. We have Misha. Yeah, Misha, because, you know, I get Mila and Misha confused. I said that last time. Misha and um, Irish from 702, Nivea from Nivea, Pam from Total, uh, Shamari from Black, and also maybe Monica, because she's still, she's, she looks like Monica. Uh, Keely from 3LW and the Cheetah Girls. Who am I missing? Aubrey from Danity Kane. Am I missing somebody? If I am, honey, I charge it to my charge it to my heart. <laughs> don't charge it to my head, cause I don't care. Um, so they vote for a queen. The queen is Pamela from uh, from Total, and everybody is is mad at Keely all of a sudden, and they cussing out Keely. Um. It just it was strange to me because Keely doesn't want to sing in the group and I told y'all last week it's because we bullied that girl. <laughs> we bullied her down with Prometheus Prometheus. And I was finna say I'm sorry, but that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Like I apologize for the way I made her feel. If, you know, she read any any of my comments or anything like that. I'm sure she didn't. But, <laughs> child, I was a big, I was a big 3LW fan. I was a bigger Cheetah Girls fan. Like, I loved Keely. But Prometheus was funny. And then when she released The, spe the Sex Was Spectacular, that was funny too. Like, I had to <laughs> get my jokes in. But anyway, yes, apologies to Keely for how that may have made her feel. Or how it did make her feel. I mean, I diminish um anyway <laughs> they jump on keely um talking about why is you here and we don't understand the point of you because they did they went to the studio before this they went to the studio um and laid down the vocals for a song the song i don't know it's a reggae little bop i'm giving away all my love to you or something like that and you know we got to hear the girls Nivea went first she sounded as she does like Nivea singing down um who went next I got it pulled up here 
I have the actual footage pulled up. Um, Nivea went, then Shamari, and she sounded good. Then Pam. Now, Pam, we're going to get to Pam a little heavier in a, in a little bit. But Pam's so sad. She's so deep in love with the Heavenly Father, Jesus Christ. But she up here talking about, I'm giving away all of my love to you. And she didn't throw a Jesus. She didn't say, I'm giving away Jesus all of my... She didn't say, I'm giving away Holy Father. Like, who are you giving your love away to, Pam? We'll get around to it. We're we getting back to Pam. Because she wears me, honey. She wears on me. Next we have, um, I think it was Irish that was next. And she's a little shaky. You know, her vocals are a little shaky. She, she to me, is very much like Keely is in that, that backseat position. You know, you weren't the star of your group and life has happened. And I mean, you could hear, I could hear in Irish and um, Misha's voices where they could be added to the song and it, it could sound really good. I heard that, but I'm a music helper. <laughs> um, but the the girls are like, oh no, it's not. And it's, it's weird to me that you, wouldn't you just be happy to be the better vocal on the song instead of being mad about how somebody else sounds? I've been in a group, it, it, I, I wasn't the best vocal, I was the, the worst vocal <laughs> in the group. I had the, the pen, <laughs> you know, I, I had some writing ability, I had some arranging ability, um, but just raw vocals, you know, my god sister and god brother ate it up, and good for them, they still out here eating it up, they are vocal beasts, and I'm getting paid for music but <laughs> getting paid for writing other people's songs but we ain't gonna talk about it. um it's just you know <laughs> there are things um in a group that everybody can do but they are beating these girls down immediately immediately they beat her down beat them down about the dancing they're beating them down about the singing and not giving them an opportunity to show what they can do, what they're interested in doing, and then <laughs> turn around. We'll get back to the, the argument in a, in a minute. Um, but then, who was it? Was it was it Irish? Yeah, Irish was in the studio when um, Fallon. I think Fallon, the the extra bold twin, Fallon got up. And went in the studio and told Irish, you need to um, enunciate your words. And you need to sing it like this because when you're singing it like that, you know, you're singing it, you're singing it from where she said she was singing it from. She said she, you're singing it from your um, nose. Now, if you listen again, she was actually singing from her throat. But that's, that's neither here nor there. That's neither here nor there. But Irish took that and didn't, she didn't seem upset about it she was like okay cool thank you for the the, the tip i would have been annoyed <laughs> but i'm a different type of helpful um and then uh lamisha sings after her sister and did nobody say nothing to her i think everybody knows that lamisha the one gonna start swinging i think everybody is aware <laughs> that you could talk to irish any kind of way you want to but lamisha she's swinging Anyway, um, they get through singing their bits and pieces, and um, Elijah and Cosine get on out of here. I got a better look at, at Elijah this week, and he's cute. He is so cute. Um, girl, we got Nads. Do y'all have Nads? Everybody's just, just, I've seen it on Facebook. A lot of my friends are dealing with Nads, and I'm like, girl, what is going on? They trying to rise up against us. But anyway, um, Cosine and Elijah get out of here. You know, they, they did their part, <laughs> you know, and they leave. And Aubrey is comfortable. She's 
sitting on the floor, but she's her back is on the couch and she's leaning over a little bit and she is touching Pam's knee. And suddenly Pam, <laughs> she got up and she walked away and she said something. Then she came back and sat down and she's like, I don't, <laughs> basically I'm not with that gay stuff. And everybody was just like, but Pam, yes, you are. <laughs> Pam, yes you are. Pam. We're look Pam. Look at you. And look at us. And look at you. And then look at us. And then look at you. Pam. You have on a Timberland boot. Tam. Pam. Whoever you are. <laughs> Sweetie. Not a nail on the finger. Not a not a um a design, I had to cut mine down, but I got a little design, honey, you don't have a design, you don't have, what, Pam, and everybody is so confused, and she's like, well, you touched my knee, and you kind of caressed it, and they rolled back the footage, and I mean, she did, <laughs> but it wasn't, it was a I'm comfortable with you kind of moment, it wasn't like, girl, <laughs> let's, Let's sneak away and <laughs> do some things. It wasn't none of that. And Pam just kind of, she took it there. And I understand um, that, again, she's saved, you know, filled, filled with the Holy Ghost and baptized in fire and all of these things. Um, but, <laughs> Pam, I think really what happened was when Aubrey touched her knee, it <laughs> ignited her bones, honey. And uh, <laughs> made her pulse react like Tina Turner said. The touch of your hand makes my pulse react. I think her pulse reacted. And um, she, she, she had to reevaluate her choices. And her Look like every time I start talking about Pam, my computer be like, no. Nah. So we gonna expedite. What was I finna say? Oh, um, Pam. We know you're delivered, you're set free, and all of that. Um, she gets up, she starts saying, you know, that she did used to be with, with a woman. And Keely is like, yes, girl, me too. And then she said, but God delivered me from that. And Keely was like, not me. <laughs> not me, girl. What's your name for? Smoking, Vinny Smith. Smoking. Have this pie full of crackheads. Not me, girl. I didn't say you. But have this pie full of crackheads. That was Keely in that moment. Pam was like, I've been delivered. Keely said, not me, girl. Honey, I love me a woman. Um, in the, it, 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 side note, side note. Why does BET have that heinous pride logo? It is so ugly. Why would you, girl, terrible, heinous, heinous. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Yeah, Pam. Uh, she says she's been delivered, you know, from that. And I'm sitting here thinking, if you were truly delivered, if the Lord took the desire from you, you would not have had such a visceral reaction to that woman touching on your knee. But she said it's about appearances and you don't want it to look a certain way. And I'm thinking, well, Pam, why did you come stay at a house with eight womans if you didn't want to be perceived a certain way if you don't want to be I did you have did you had to reconcile with yourself before coming on this show that you would have to have this very moment this very conversation and maybe that was a part of her reasoning maybe she wanted to come on the show to tell everybody she'd been delivered but it was so strange you decided to stay in the house with eight other women and you don't want it to be perceived that you like women, but you the gayest one up in here. You and Nivea <laughs> look like two lesbians from way back. So I'm, I'm not understanding, Pam. I'm really not. I'm trying to work with you and understand. I'm not understanding. I was so confused. So confused. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to see the woman that Pam was with back in the day and do she look anything like Aubrey used to look because this new face. Ooh. 
Honey, she got them lips pumped up the the day she was supposed to go in that house. Um. Anyway, they go back to. They have that. Okay, skipping, skipping, skipping ahead from Pamela and her internalized <laughs> homophobia. Um, we see. Felicia, is it Felicia, honey? One of the, I think it's Fallon. Fallon and Keely have a moment where they're talking about um, the 702 girls. And the 702 girls, just, they aren't supposed to be here. They're no good. They can't sing. They can't dance. What are you here for? And Keely was engaging in that conversation. So we skip ahead. We see that Lamisha is eavesdropping on that conversation. And... Lamisha goes to her room. She's crying. Now, mind you, Pam has been voted queen, um, homophobic queen. <laughs> and she goes to her room, and Pam comes in there, and Shamari is there, and Nivea. And they're all like, girl, why are you crying? <laughs> Little Latin boy in drag, why are you crying? And she's like, because I just overheard a conversation, and they don't want us here, and we should go, and blah, blah, blah. And so Pam holds court. We get to the court, honey. <laughs> the the Queen's Court, not the Queen Supreme, just the Queen's Court. And Fallon and Felicia jump on Keely. Keely jumps on Pam. Everybody side side, you know, agreeing with Fallon and Felicia about Keely. Because they say she messy and what is she here for if she not going to be in the group? Is she just here to start mess? Yes. <laughs> Girl, duh. You got to have somebody. Um. So, yeah, they like, you know, you just here to start, obviously. Um, and then Keely jumps on Pam and is like, Pam, when you... When you said that homophobic foolishness, I was so upset because I am bisexual. And everybody was like, okay. <laughs> All right. And then you have Pam talking about, I was just talking about myself. I ain't talking about nobody else. I'm just, you know, talking about me. And I can understand that. And then you have Shamari DeVoe in the confessional, honey, with her pride rainbow hair, talking about Pam can't be homophobic because she been with a woman. And I said, Shamari, you might need to do some more further research and readings because, yes, she can. <laughs> yes, she can, girl. Um, But anyway, child, they jump on Keely and then we go to commercial break and we come back and it's the next day. <laughs> and... um. We 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 get to a moment where Aubrey has creative directed and that's supposed to be Keely's job and so she done done these posters, these vision boards. I love a vision board. Oh my god, I love vision like if you could see my home right now. Vision board, vision board, vision board in my room. Visions, honey. We 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 write here, honey, and we got scripts and pieces of screenplay information and visions and that's what we do here okay um so I loved it um Audrey is it Aubrey Aubrey all day I don't care she does her um vision board presents it to the um cherished twins and can I just Side note, every time I say the word cherish, my mind immediately says, hey, 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 immediately, <laughs> immediately. And when I see the number 702, which I see quite a bit, actually, I catch 702 at least one time a day on the clock. When I see those numbers, my brain immediately starts singing Stilo. Immediately. Just immediately. I almost got a 702 tattoo one time, so... I might be a little protective of my girls because <laughs> I love me some 702. <laughs> Where my girls at? From the front to back, honey, we love 702. I love Black. I love Nivea. Like, I love all these girls. I like Danity Kane, honey. We in the car, we riding slow. We doing things that the girls don't do. 
the boys stare. We smile back. All my girls in the rainbow Cadillac. Yeah. Show stopping on the ladder spot. Anyway. Because <laughs> I will sit here and sing everybody's hits. Um, But anyway. So, Aubrey is showing her vision board. Everybody is like, yes, we love it. Keely does a sarcastic. Finally, you know, she's on board. Hold on, I'm thirsty. Finally, she's on board and we love to see it. And then they attack Keely. <laughs> they attack Keely again, honey. They eat her up. And while they are eating her up once again with why are you here? What are you doing? Why are you laying your vocal tracks? Why are you dancing in the, the studio in the um, dance studio learning the choreography and why and why and why and why and why? And they're eating her up and she gets up from the couch and she's now sitting you know, alone at the bar, at the breakfast bar with her glass of wine and she's just looking forlorn and she's so hurt, deeply hurt. Um, and then <laughs> Fallon or Felicia, Felicia gets up, honey, and says, we are not. She says, not on my watch. Not on my watch will you disrespect another woman because if you disrespect her, you disrespect me and you do not have permission to disrespect me. Understand? <laughs> she gave very <laughs> Iyanla suddenly. And it's like, I'm thinking the same thing Keely thinking. Like, you literally called her Two Face B yesterday, <laughs> last night. And now she's standing up talking about when we got here, everybody was at me and Fallon's neck and this and that and we don't we don't we know how it feels and we don't like it and yada yada and blah 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 and then they carry <laughs> keely outside and she crying and then she, the, the show over and i'm just like what <laughs> what just what i'm still trying to confused about pam <laughs> i'm still trying to figure that out and then here we come with the twins taking up for Keely and Keely crying and now she Keely talking about I don't know what to do I don't know what to do because yesterday you were you called me two-faced and today you're standing up for me I don't know what to do should I go home like girl but anyway Fallon's or oh sorry Felicia said a lot of the things that I was saying to y'all last week which is the girl is hurt. <laughs> she wants to sing. She wants to dance. She wants to be a part. This and that. My word. She wants to be a part of the group. But <laughs> she is damaged. She's damaged. She's hurt. She doesn't want to put herself out there fully. And that's what Felicia was kind of saying is that y'all see somebody who's mean and bitter and yada yada. I see somebody who's hurt. So we'll see how it proceeds next week. It was a cute little episode. I'm just Pam. Maybe she didn't know this was coming out during Pride Month, but Pam, not during a month, honey. Not during a month. And also to those of you that are um, experiencing Pride, happy homosexuality. Happy homosexuality. I don't have on any rainbow today. I'm so sorry, but happy to you. Happy homosexuality. And I'll catch y'all next week, child. Peace. I said peace, but it didn't stop. So what, what do we do?